Okay, so we have one more layer to complete with our next geometric shape pattern. Um, this is what we did in the last video. I am going to lock that one and turn it off so we don't see it. Make a new layer and we'll call this shape four and say okay. All right, on this one, you can either choose rectangles or ellipses. I guess I'm gonna choose rectangles since we did a circle one already. So click on that and go over here once again, fill none, stroke white, 0.5 of a point for your stroke weight. And this is going to be easy. You are just gonna draw a bunch of squares at different shape or at different sizes. So to draw a square, you know, you drag a rectangle like that. If you hold the shift key, it will stay perfectly square. So just go ahead and keep your hand on the shift key so that they'll all be squares and not um, rectangles. So just draw a whole bunch of them. They look black right now. It's because that this layer right here, the um, label for it is black. So like if I were to right, whoops, if I were to right click on this, it's just the color of the label. So you can make that any color you want. I can make it dark blue. So it's not the actual color of the line. It's just like the label color. All right, anyway, so I'm gonna keep drawing a bunch of different squares, make some of them big, some of them small, some of them intersecting, maybe some freestanding. Just make sure that you vary it. It looks a lot more interesting if they're varied and not all the same, same size or same spot. Actually, I don't like that one being there. I'm gonna move it a little. Once again, like all of them, don't need to fill up the entire page. Just kind of have about, you know, at least two thirds of your page filled up with a pattern. I'm kind of making mine go at an angle down the page so that it kind of matches the gradient that I chose. All right, so that's almost enough there. Maybe put a few more here at the top, some small ones. The more variants and shapes you have, the more interesting it looks. You don't want them to all be the same size can have some spread out too, like some, some that are far away from the group. All right, that looks good enough. So let's go to the, the one thing I see, I don't really like how that one looks. I am going to delete that one. So you can always go back in and edit any of them that you aren't really crazy about. Whoops. Let's move it down a little bit like that. Okay, I think I like that better. So if you want to view it, go to presentation mode. You can see how it looks and press escape to get out of that. All right, so now we have four different gradients and four different backgrounds. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to save each one and we'll use some of these other color gradients. So we'll have like one file that might have the squares and the orange and maybe the next file will have the blue color with the polygon triangles. So. In the next video, I'll explain how to do that part.